As someone who personally drives a Cherokee, I can tell you it really is a good car. Mine has handled many ski trips and lots of journeys, and it's really been a really good car to me. However, this Cherokee adds a few more upgrades. This one right here is a Trailhawk. We're gonna take a look at it today and see just what makes this one special. A huge thanks to Oarsman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Clarksville for letting us take a look at this vehicle. If you're interested in buying a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram, be sure to check out their website in the description below. And a huge thanks to you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like. It. All right, let's get into this video. Now let's start talking about the front of the vehicle. I brought it up next to a regular Cherokee just to show you the differences in the front ends. Uh, we'll get to that in just a sec, but first, full LEDs, of course, nice seven slot Jeep grill. You also have a blacked out Jeep badge on this Trailhawk, which looks excellent with the full blackout look. You do have tow hooks down here where you do not right here. Also, fog lights located right there, whereas they're lower on the regular Cherokee. Now you have a much more aggressive cut in your bumper. Uh, you can see this one goes down much lower before cutting in, whereas on the Trailhawk, it starts cutting in much higher. The benefit of that is you're gonna have a better approach angle to any sort of rocks or uh, terrain that you're trying to go over. Other than that, it's a really nice looking front end. I actually really do appreciate the not just functional purpose, but aesthetic look of this bumper. I think it looks really good. Let's talk about the side of the vehicle. $795 black wheels right here. They're 17 inches. They look really good with this $245 diamond black paint. I really, really like the look of that. Mirrors, of course, are heated, have your um, turn signal integrated in them, and they also have a, your blind spot monitor right inside there. You do get a one inch lift on your Trailhawk. Also showing this is a Trailhawk, you have a trail rated badge right there, uh, letting everyone know that you have an off-road capable vehicle. You, of course, have a roof rack too on this vehicle. Other than that, it's a really nice side profile. It's been around a while for the Cherokee. I really like it. Let's talk about the rear. You have these really attractive LED lights, really like those. This vehicle does have the about $900 trailer tow package. Uh, with that and the 3.2 liter engine, you're gonna be towing around 4,500 pounds which is a pretty good number. Uh, again, like we had in the front, you have a pretty aggressive uh, departure angle on the rear of the vehicle compared to the normal Cherokee. Let's open up the hatch. This is a manual open. There are automatic options available. As you look back here, you have about 26 cubic feet of space, about 55 if you put the seats down. Uh, there isn't really an option to do that back here. However, it's such a small vehicle, you can reach up to the seats and pull the lever there. So that is just something to keep in mind. Let's talk trim starting off the line at $26,555 is the latitude. That's gonna be getting you a 2.4 liter inline four engine with automatic start and stop. You're also getting these heated power mirrors and a seven inch Uconnect 4 screen. Starting at $28,625, the Latitude Plus is gonna get you fog lamps. You're also getting a heated steering wheel and front seats. And on top of that, you are getting keyless entry. Now there's not one here, but the Altitude is going to come in at $30,065 and essentially acts as a blackout package. It's gonna get you a black exterior features like the wheels and the roof rack. It's also gonna get you an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. At $30,145, the Latitude Lux is going to get you Napa leather seats. It's also going to get you the 3.2 liter Panastar engine and you once again are getting a power driver seat with lumbar. This year there is a special edition of the Cherokee, the 80th anniversary edition. That's going to be $30,325. It's going to get you a dual panoramic sunroof. You're also getting an 8.4 inch Uconnect screen and a 7 inch digital driver's gauge display. At $34,295, the Limited is going to get a power lift gate. You're also getting radar cruise control with stop and go functionality and you're getting parallel and perpendicular park assist. At $35,595, the Trailhawk like we have today is going to get you skid plates and tow hooks. You're also getting crawl control and rock mode um, for your off-road modes. And then in addition to that, you're also getting that one inch raised lift. Topping off the line at $36,985 is the high altitude, which is gonna get you features like satin granite metallic finishes around the car. You're also getting 19 inch satin wheels and you're getting body color fender flares. Under the hood of the Trailhawk, you'll find a 3.2 liter V6 pulling out 271 horsepower and 239 pound-feet of torque. You can expect around 18 miles to a gallon in the city and around 24 on the highway. 
Let's talk safety. This vehicle has a four star safety rating as standard. This Cherokee is going to get collision detection with auto emergency braking. You're getting lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and you're getting blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. This vehicle has a $1,195 technology package, which is going to add radar cruise control with stop and go functionality. You're also getting auto high beams, and on top of that, you are getting park assist, which we will look at a little later. Now let's get into the Cherokee looking at your key here, just your normal, your normal Jeep key. Of course you have the proximity axis. Just put your hand there and the vehicle unlocks. Entry's nice and easy as it usually is with these uh, mid-size compact SUVs. Looking around, just generally really good view out here. Um, as someone who drives this vehicle quite a bit, I can tell you that it really does have good views. You have easy sight to your mirrors, of course. They're just the right size for this vehicle. And the window line actually gives you really, really nice look. Uh, your steering wheel feels great in the hand again. Really nice, nice leather. And then everything can just be easily reached. Climate controls right there. No matter your height, this is a really nice cockpit. And now you all join me here on the interior and overall interior quality is very good. I must say the leather in the Cherokee feels fantastic. This is something that carries through the entire FCA line. They use really high quality leathers. Other leathers just feel thin, cheap, grainy, but this leather really does feel like thick, high quality, smooth leather. I really, really do enjoy it. And it adds such a high level of quality to the vehicle because this is the place you're touching the most, your seat and your steering wheel, and it really just feels great. So on that note, there's nice red stitching around the vehicle. This is the Trailhawk. Seats feel nice and comfy. They're definitely very supportive. Um, they are leather with cloth inserts, which could be good if you're you know, sweaty, you were out just adventuring for the day. That is really good. Um, and just, they are heated, of course. And then looking around here, you do have your heated steering wheel. Everything just is in a very good place, very accessible. We'll take a look at that um, also as we just continue through the interior. It is a very well-designed space. Let's take a look at your center digital display right here. It is seven inches, nicely flanked by those physical dials. So as we go through here, it is controlled via these buttons on your steering wheel. And you have your speed. Next will be your vehicle information. This menu is very useful. You have all of your coolant temperatures. And your oil life is particularly nice to know at any given time. Of course, battery voltage there. As we scroll down, you have your driver assist, fuel economy. And what's nice about the fuel economy is you can actually have two trips logged like this. So that's quite nice to have those in the uh, separate menu. Then you have your trip information there. I like how they put the little continents in the background. It's something nice to break it up. Of course, start, stop, your audio source, and then any messages the vehicle has for you. So a very, very nice and practical center display right there. Now let's take a look at your Uconnect system. This really is a fantastic system, this Uconnect 4. It will be interesting to see if Jeep gets like those big 12 inch displays that the uh, Rams get in the Cherokee. That'd be a nice feature. Um, but looking through here, of course, you have really easy access categories right here. If you hit climate, for example, it's right there. And of course you do have climate controls down there. Some people don't like the climate being up here. Um, you have your media, everything is nice and easily accessible. One thing I really like about Uconnect is it has a really simple to use settings menu. So if you want to change your driving assistance, uh, it's, it's really easy, but it's also really customizable. So you can see you can change how each of the features acts, their sensitivity. It's really, really nice. And anyone would be able to do this. It's nice and easy. Um, one thing that I found kind of fun is if you go to units, you can choose metric, US, or if you hit custom, you can mix and match if you really want to confuse your friends. Um, so that is all up to you. We'll set back to US. So a really nice snappy system. You can see that it is very quick as I'm using it here. Really no complaints about it. It's extremely practical and easy to use while driving, which is important. Let's talk about your center stack now. Very easy to access. Climate controls right there. They're nice and big. You could easily push them if you had gloves on or anything like that. Also a really nice and easy to access auto uh, start stop button right there if you want to turn that feature off. It's nice that they include that. Looking down from there, you do have a USB-A port and you have an aux port along with a traditional outlet right there traditional car outlet that is and then of course right here you have your drive mode so you can turn this knob 
and that change will be reflected here in the center console as I change the modes. It takes a few seconds to change into each mode. Um, again, you do get that special rock mode in the Trailhawk. Then right here you have your shifter, um, just a traditional shifter. It's as good as it can be. And you have an electronic parking brake right there. And then behind that you have two cup holders, both with these little grips to hold your drink no matter the size, which is really nice, and a little pen holder. Opening up the center console area, you can see at first you have this little shallow storage area, great for a wallet, phone, anything like that. And then you have a deeper area right there with a USB-A port and some coin holders. Would be nice to see some USB-C ports uh, to start future-proofing this vehicle, but other than that, really no complaints. It's a highly functional area. So I do want to show you guys the active park assist. So you can see if I put the car into drive, what we can do is we can hit this park assist on button. And now the car is going to start looking for a parallel parking spot. We're going to push this button here to tell it we want to park perpendicularly. And you'll see it'll switch and now it's looking in between those Willys Jeeps for a parking spot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the car in drive, it is in drive, and we're going to start rolling forward. And I'm hoping it'll pick up this spot right here. I've actually already done a test run and hopefully it will pick up that spot. It has prior, okay. It's told me to keep moving forward, and now it's telling me to stop. So I'm going to stop. And now, remove hands from the wheel and shift into reverse. So I'm gonna put the car into reverse, and now it's telling me to move backwards. So I'm taking my foot off the brake, and you can see the wheel is steering on its own. You can see in our backup camera, we're moving into the spot. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Again, hands off the wheel, and you're just controlling the gas. And you can see as I move back, the wheel should start straightening out pretty soon. Once again, you can see we are moving backwards there. I'm going very slowly right now. You'd probably do a little faster in real life. Just wanna make sure we don't hit this black Wrangler next to us. There we go. You can see the car is starting to straighten out a bit. Not entirely sure what it's doing now. It might be, since this is a very long spot, the car might be a little confused. But you can see it got us roughly in the right spot. So even if it's not 100% perfect, it is a cool little feature. And now you join me in the rear here in the Cherokee. And it is actually a very, very nice place to be for two adults, definitely. Two climate control vents back here. You also have two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports, which is super nice, along with a household outlet. The seats are nice and comfy back here. And you do have a pull armrest with two cup holders in it. Now, I say it's a comfy place for two adults, definitely not three because you have the hump in the middle and a pretty skinny middle seat. However, I have done a road trip with three adult sized people back here. And let me tell you, it did work. We did make it there. Uh, the three in the back were not happy, but it was achieved. So just know that is a possibility. Um, other than that, it is a nice place back here. Coming in at just under $40,000, this Cherokee brings a lot to the table. You have a really nice interior. If you have four people, they'll all be nice and comfortable, but you can squeeze five in there. You get these really nice off-road looks, the aggressive approach and departure angle, that one inch lift, the black wheels. It really is a nice look that all works together. And you are getting some off-road chops in the form of that skid plate, the four wheel drive system that Jeep is well known for, and that 3.2 liter engine that really back up those good looks. So the Cherokee really is a great buy if you're considering a comfortable family SUV for four people that can do the occasional weekend warrior trip. A huge thanks to you all for watching and a big thanks to Jacob and everyone else here at Oarsman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. If you're looking for a new Cherokee or any other vehicle, be sure to check them out. We'll see you all in next week's video.